What started as a small group of concerned parents and friends in 1954 has grown to the largest provider of person-centered supports and specialized training for adults with developmental disabilities in Polk County. They have a fundraiser coming up that you won't want to miss. The organization and tasty event details are coming up on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place. I'm your host, Lauren Lingell. In studio with us today, we have John Doran, board chair for Alliance for Independence. So thank you for being here. Thank um, you. So tell us a little bit about what happens at AFI. What services are being provided to the community? So at AFI, we have about 100 clients that we serve every weekday. Um, they receive all, all types of training. Uh, they could get uh, you know, life skills training, cooking, uh, physical uh, fitness, uh, education, it, it's really a lot of different programs that are driven by them. Um, we've got a, a whole healthy living initiative where we're encouraging them to do things like eat better and uh, cook better and you know, do, some more, uh, do some more physical type of activities and everything. Um, so not, yeah. not to focus on the, the, the developmental disabilities or anything like that, but what, what types of disabilities um, do folks who benefit from AFI, what are they dealing with? Uh, it, it could be any, any wide array of, of uh, either mental or physical disabilities. Um, we have a lot of folks that um, you know, are autistic, uh, that may, maybe just have some, some learning disabilities and things like that. Um, not so much the physical disabilities quite as much, um, but really it's, it, you know, we, we started out as it was a group of parents that were concerned about their children, and this was back in 1954 when, when AFI was founded. Uh, and really back then there were no options uh, for, for anyone that, that, ha that was seen to have any type of disabilities. Okay. So what, what they said is, you know, these, these people really have potential. Um, they could be bigger parts of the community. They want to be individuals. They want to they be contributors. Uh, and we need to be able to give them the life skills to do something like that. That's great, and I, I understand AFI is um, a United Way agency. Yeah, we've, we've been partners with the United Way since the 1960s. Uh, it's really been a, a really mutually beneficial partnership for the two of us. We, we do a lot with United Way, and they're, they're huge supporters of us, uh, and they really make a difference. They make a lot of the things possible for, uh, for AFI on a daily basis. What specific programs does United Way fund? Um, for you guys? So we have a whole healthy living uh, initiative that we have where, where our clients have actually said, you know, we, we want to learn, you know, what are the right foods to eat and how do we prepare healthier meals in our homes and uh, what are ways that we can improve things like our blood pressure and lose weight and, you know, get into things like a, a biggest loser contest and things like that. So we have a whole set of programs that are based entirely around that that uh, our clients get to go to, you know, on, on a daily basis and they get to learn what's right and what's wrong and uh, they probably do a better job with health than a lot of us do. So how does someone get involved with AFI either to uh, access services or to become involved with um, volunteering or, or um, special events? Sure, so the, the best way to get involved is to check out our website, which is www.afi-fl.org. Uh, we've got a whole list of, of some of the different programs that we offer and you know, it's kind of a story of, of how AFI came about and some of the different things that we do in the community. Uh, and there's an area there for, for you to contact some of our leaders in the organization to find out more about those opportunities. So one of the, the, the big events that you guys have coming up is the Central Florida Wine Festival. Tell me a little bit about that. So uh, the Wine Festival for, of Central Florida is uh, one of our, absolutely one of our biggest annual events. Uh, it's gonna be held uh, Friday, March 11th, uh, down on the Lake Mirror Promenade in Lakeland. Mm -hmm. And it starts at 6.30 and goes until 10 o'clock. We have uh, over two dozen restaurants and about two dozen different uh, alcohol vendors or beverage vendors, I guess is a better way to put it, uh, that are gonna be out there. So we'll have a, just a wide variety of, of some of the best chefs and best restaurants in Polk County that are gonna be out there. Fantastic. Will yeah. there be live music? Yeah, we'll actually have uh, the Sofa Kings are going to be out performing for us. So it's going to be it's going to be a rocking time. We're, we'll have a whole stage set up and everything. Uh, we're going to utilize as much of the promenade out there as possible to have everything set up. There'll be as you show up, you'll get a wine glass and a little tasting guide that shows you where everything is. And then from there, it's it's your night to experience all the different tastes and and culinary adventures that you like for the evening. And all the proceeds will go to benefit. Um, Alliance for Independence yes. programs. Yeah, 100% of the proceeds go to benefit the programs. 100% uh, of the proceeds go to benefit the programs that AFI runs. 
So what you're telling me, what's the cost for admission into this event? So the cost for admission is $60 if you buy your tickets in advance, which you can get at our uh, Wine Festival website, which is winefestivalofcentralflorida.com. Uh, if you show up the day of the event, it'll be $70 per ticket. Okay, so th this, this $60 gets you in, gets you a wine glass, gets you access to numerous um, chefs and, and, and restaurants in Lakeland as well as adult beverage vendors. Absolutely. And you've got this beautiful setting in the evening right there on Lake Mirror at the promenade. Yeah, the, the promenade, it's, I mean, it's such a great and unique place to have an event like this in Lakeland. And, and you know, it's, it's always a great night. Uh, the weather is usually wonderful in March. Hopefully I'm not uh, jinxing anything Knocking there by saying that. Wood. Exactly. <laughs> um, it, it really is, you, you get out there and, and we start at 6.30, so the sun is just getting ready to set. Um, and you get to see this really beautiful sunset over, over downtown Lakeland. It's just, just gorgeous. And uh, you know, as, as you know, the, the stars come out and the music gets going and everyone's having a great time and everything, it's, it's really probably one of the better evenings in Lakeland. I like to say it's probably one of Lakeland's best date nights. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. and and it's all for a great cause. It's, you know, absolutely. everything's gonna go back to um, helping you all provide services to those those hundred hundred yeah we have people clients. Yeah. Yeah. Um, daily. So yeah, it, it really does make a huge difference. It gives us the ability to to do things like develop new programs, um, whether it is around things like the healthy living or you know, new art uh, opportunities. Uh, we're working on a new pottery studio. We want to give our clients a way to express themselves in an entirely new way. Um, so there's, there's a lot of great things that benefit directly from this event. So John, in talking about all of this, I detected um, some underlying passion here. This is a this is something that's that's pretty close to you. Absolutely, uh, yeah. I was I was brought in as, as an associate for public supermarkets. Uh, Publix has had a lot of involvement with uh, with AFI in a lot of different ways, supporting them through some of their charitable events. Actually, Public Supermarkets is the title sponsor of the Wine Festival this year, so it's it's a very big deal. Um, there were other associates that were part of the board previously that brought me in, and they were friends of mine. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that I did is I took a tour of AFI's facilities. Um, you come in and you spend maybe an hour or so and you get to walk through all the classrooms, you get to see, you know, things like art being created, you get to see, you know, some of the clients exercising and learning how to, how to do things in the kitchen and actually cooking food for you. Um, it's a really, really unique experience and it, it you know, if, I tell you, if you walk out of there and you're just not completely dedicated to what AFI is all about, then, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's, it's a really, really great experience and you get to learn so much and you see everything that they're doing with, with how little they have. So um, it's something that I, that I really wholeheartedly support and you know, doing something like getting heavily involved in the Wine Festival with it being our biggest fundraiser is one of the best ways that I can think of to give back to that organization. Is there one story or, or one particular person that you've met at AFI that really just, that you can share with us that really just to hit it home for you, like this person's amazing, this, this kid's amazing? Yeah, um, unfortunately I, I, I don't remember her name, uh, but we have, we have a particular client that never really says anything. She, she's, not a, she's not a verbal communicator. Um, and what we've done is we've given her the ability uh, in our art studio to really express herself in an entirely new way. Um, she's a very good painter. She, she's, she, she does very, very well with a lot of different mediums. Uh, and we were actually, I was there on a, on a tour with some other folks from Publix earlier this year. Uh, and her story was kind of brought up and she was in the studio working by herself. Uh, and she was working on a little painting that uh, I think it, was, it said love and she had had it all, it was uh, covered in glitter and all this other different stuff like that. It was, it was a really neat little painting she had done. Uh, and one of our associates walked over to her and said, that's really beautiful, you did a great job with that. And she looked up at her and said, thank you. She never says anything, but uh, we, you know, we're giving her a way to express herself, to create something really beautiful and when people appreciate it, she's able to step through all those boundaries that she has and communicate with us. That is, I mean, that just sounds amazing. Yeah. And to, to be a part of an organization like that, um, I can't imagine why it's, it's so special to you. So thank you so much for being with us today and, and sharing um, what the organization is about and this great event that's coming up. Um, so, so thank you, John. Thank you for having us. We really appreciate the opportunity to talk with you about it. Alliance for Independence invites you to the Wine Festival of Central Florida, Friday, March 11th from 6.30 to 10 p.m at the Lake Mirror Promenade, 121 South Lake Avenue in Lakeland. Tickets are $60 per person in advance and 70 at the door. The Wine Festival of Central Florida has become one of Lakeland's premier events. The event offers over 125 different wines from a variety of select vineyards, food samplings from over 25 different chefs and restaurants, a bevy of craft beers to satisfy your curiosity, as well as select premier liquors to tempt your taste. 
proceeds benefit the client served by Alliance for Independence. And for more information, give them a call at 863-665-3846 or look them up on the web at www.winefestivalofcentralflorida.com.